What's up, Chairsofters? This is Wolfpack Chairsoft. I'm Squash for the Road. This is my review on the G&G FN Herschel F2000. All right, little tidbit about the real Steel F2000. It debuted in 2000 at the IDEX Defense Show in uh, Dubai. And since then, it has become the standard military rifle of Pakistan and Slovenia. The real steel design, as well as this, is a bolt pop design, which means the action and the magazine are all back behind the trigger. This leads to the barrel being set back farther, leading to you being able to have a longer barrel in a shorter frame. All right, this gun externally is very, very, very nice. It's a nylon reinforced polymer body. Very ergonomic too. This front grip. Some people may think it's fat. This gun is also very ambi friendly. The fire selector has notches on both sides, the fingers on the rear index on the left and right, and the mag release, which is right here, just in front of the mag, is just a big button that you can see from either side. So it doesn't matter if you're doing it from the left or the right. Just do it. The gun also features a removable front sight, which is adjustable for elevation, and a flip-up rear sight, which is adjustable for windage. Personally, I don't like these sights. The rear sight hole is very small. Charging handle is non-functional, but you can move it. Does not move anything on the outside. This door, open it by yourself. Really, overall, the externals are very, very nice. One thing to point out, this gas block, this part right here does actually flip. Takedown is pretty simple. Just push this gray button in, pull it out a little from this side, and push. It does come all the way out, and it does give you access to your, to your inner barrel and your hop-up unit if you want to change those. But you don't have to do this to adjust the hop-up because when it's closed up, this little door right here, you can actually see the hop-up unit and wheel. It is a bit annoying to adjust, but it's a G&G hop-up unit. It's very, very stiff, which is nice because it holds, although it's a wheel type, it's not a rotary, it does hold the its hop very well. This gun is fully trademarked by F. N. Herschel through Cybergun. As you can see, it has the FN mark on the magwell on both sides. And on here, just right where your cheek would be if you're right-handed, it reads FN Herschel, Belgium FN, F2000, restricted, caliber 6mm. And it does say licensed by FN Herschel. And it does have a unique serial number on all of the guns. Mine reads 130774. Interesting. And the magazine it comes with is a 450 round high capacity magazine. Alright, the internals again are very nice. It does feature a full metal version 6 gearbox. This is the gearbox you can find out a 249 saw. These are very durable gearboxes meant to take tens of thousands of BBs before they actually give you a failure. And a very nice thing about these is they do have the F2000 is it does have an adjustable FPS. Which all you do is you flip up on this thing, you do flip up the back of the butt plate, push it off, and voila, you have access to both your battery and the spring guide. All you have to do is push it in and it goes somewhere close to 400 FPS, and all the way back like it is right now, it will get about to 350 FPS. So it can go from right at field limits outdoors to right at field limits for indoors. So. It's a very nice, very, uh, very good feature. The gun also features a 430 millimeter brass inner barrel. This is very nice. It's, I have no clue what the uh, diameter of it is. However, it is so accurate. I have to guess it's a 604. So you don't need to replace it right off the bat with something with a 603 or a 601. Gun also features a dual stage trigger. Going to one, one that's 
just semi-automatic it. The trigger only goes halfway. Put in a bullet, put it into the A, and the trigger does depress halfway. You hear a click. That's the first sh stage. That's a single shot. Bring it all the way back till it can't move. Back any further, and you got full auto. All right, now what I don't like about this gun, that the gun does have an internal design flaw due to the dual stage trigger. It does have two trigger contacts, that, and the cutoff lever is improperly shaped to cut off properly. So it will eventually kill the semi-auto from the gun. This is actually a very easy fix. All you have to do is buy a MOSFET for the gun, which I, had, which I have for my gun right now, because I hit that flaw. Really don't let that deter you from getting this gun. It's a really, really nice gun. Shooting test. This gun has really great performance. That adjustable FPS does go up to 400 FPS. Right now it's on the 350 FPS. And it's very accurate, it's very laser beam like. Hey guys, I'm Wolf, and I want to give a big thank you to my good friend and teammate here who brought his gun and reviewed it and helped make this video possible. So, some of you may have seen him before in his loadout video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. There's a link to it in the video description down below. So, definitely watch it. He has a great loadout and some awesome gear. I'm Wolf. This is Squatch. And we'll see you guys next week.